So we've got the hydroxyl group, which um, is polar interactions. Um, and so especially because it's an OH bond here, then that's actually going to be hydrogen bonding, whereas this is nonpolar um, and dispersion forces between it instead. One of the advantages of this is that um, ethanol can actually dissolve things that water cannot. And I like to give the example here that I have a few different things. So I have this person's goggles. I think this is quite a clear way of seeing. So the first thing I'm doing with ethanol is I'm going to compare cleaning these goggles where I've put marker on there with ethanol versus with water. So using uh, methylated spirits as my ethanol um, sample. Okay, so let's clean this side with ethanol. Okay, very nice, came up really clean. If I do the same with some water, it's not coming off at all. Okay, so that's one of the first things. It can dissolve inks that water cannot. Let's take, clean that off now. The other thing, we actually have uh, this bottle of, of um, methylated spirits in our labs because it's a way of cleaning goggles in between student use um, to make sure that they're not passing on any contaminants. And one of those things is generally because students love to put their goggles up on their heads and so their goggles get all the oils from people's hair. I know it sounds really gross. So I've put some oil here. I'm going to wipe it across the goggles, make them quite smudgy. Okay, maybe a bit more. This is not the paper I used for the other stuff. Let's put that on there like that. Okay, so now we've got this surface that is all covered in oil. Okay, so let's do our comparison again. We'll get our methylated spirits and see how that compares to cleaning up something that is hydrocarbon based. Okay, remember that does not mix with water versus uh, ethanol, which has both a hydrocarbon end and a um, pole end. So I've got water first. I'm going to wipe it on the same side I did before. Okay, I can kind of wipe it off, but it doesn't really doesn't really get the whole thing off there. You can still see there's, there's a lot of smudges there. Okay, with even less amount of ethanol. On the other side, I should be able to get a really, absolutely, don't make me wrong, clean surface. Okay. Should have cleaned the back of the goggles before I did this as well. Okay. So there, a lot, let it dry and that little bit will evaporate. You can see much cleaner than the first side. Okay, there's still, you can see the little bubbles on the, the goggles there where the water just hasn't been able to move all the um, uh, oil off there. Whereas the side with the ethanol is nice and clean. And the ethanol as an added bonus has quite a low volatility. Um, high volatility, sorry, and so it becomes, uh, evaporates readily. That's why it feels cool on your hands, because um, it uses up energy as it evaporates and removes some of the heat from your hands. So any cooling um, face washes and things tend to have some form of an alcohol in there, usually menthol. Menthol is quite commonly used in there in small amounts. All right, so that is showing us the power of ethanol as a solvent. Thank you.